Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Now the news in detail. Invoices of a refrigerator and smart TV are among the evidence the enforcement directorate used to support its claims that Jharkhand ex chief minister Hemant Soren acquired 8.86 acres of land worth more than 31 crore illegally. The federal probe agency obtained this receipt from two Ranchi based dealers and attached those it to charge sheet filed against the 48 year old Jharkhand Mukti Morcha leader and four others last month. The special PMLA court of Judge Rajiv Ranjan in Raji took cognizance of the prosecution complaint on April 4th. Mr. Soren was arrested by the ED on January 31st in a money laundering case related to the alleged land grab shortly after he resigned as chief minister. He is currently in the judicial custody in Birsa Munda jail at Hotwar in Raji. According to the ED, the two gadgets were purchased in the name of the family members of Santos Munda, who told the agency that he has been residing as a caretaker of the property of Heman Soren on the said land for 14 to 15 years. The agency used Mr. Munda's statement to counter Mr. Soren claim that he had no link with that said land. The ED also rejected the claim of a person named Rajkumar Pahan on the piece of land, alleging that he was front for Soren to keep the asset under his control. The ED claimed that soon after Mr. Soren was issued the first summons in this case in August last year, Mr. Pahan wrote to the Deputy Commissioner of Rachi stating that he and some other have the land position and uh, earlier mutation in the name of other owners be cancelled and they may be saved from being evicted from the property. The state government restored the land to Mr. Pahan on January 29, two days before Mr. Soren arrest, so that JMM leader's control and position remain unimpeded, the ED alleged. According to the federal agency, the land was originally a Bhuyari property that cannot be transferred or sold to anyone under general situation and Mundas and Pahan were the owners of such land assets. The immovable assets were later sold to someone person by the original LOTs by the sword and got them evicted and gained control of the land in 2010-11, the ED claim. That's the end of the story. If you like the content of our video, please do hit the subscribe button, share it with your families and friends and do not forget to post a suggestion in the comment section below. Thank you. Have a great day.